So this is something I have been wanting to try for a long time, and I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. Uh, we were going to kick off at 6 o'clock, but it looks like the musicians are running a little bit behind. Uh, I am here with Aaron Hill, and um, uh, we are going to listen in on one of his street serenades, which he has been doing uh, regularly. And I've wanted this for a long time. I have an interview that I just did with Aaron a few minutes ago that I'm going to go ahead and run. I was planning on running that at the, uh, at the end of the concert, you know, music playing. But I think I'll run it in the beginning since they're not quite ready yet. So anyway, my conclusion won't make a lot of sense, but go with it. It's live. <laughs> what can I say? Um, and then hopefully they'll be ready to play and we'll go right into the music. If not, um, there might be a little scene of the lake. I don't know. All right. So here is the interview I just did a few minutes ago with Aaron about the projects that he's up to and what's happened since uh, his equipment was stolen. Take a listen. I have wanted to do this for a long time. And you may have noticed the notification for this live stream pop up at a weird time in the middle of the day. And what happened was I was cruising around, poking around, trying to think what to do on this beautiful evening. And I checked out your website, AaronHillTV.com, which I always check out. And up pops your calendar and saw that you were going to be here tonight. And so I thought I'd drag the camera out and and uh, join you. And I wanted to get a quick update. Um, you know, it was not so far. Was it over there that the car was, the van was stolen? Not too far from me, about maybe 10, 10 minutes away from this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so, what, that was like a month and a half ago now, right? Yeah, uh, May 14th to be exact. And um, all the equipment in, and also Aaron's um, van was completely stolen. You went and <laughs> yep. You have video on your Facebook page of like, right. it's supposed to be here, to be event, and some dog was barking or whatever. Yeah. How have you recovered from that? One day at a time, and very well with the help of the community. You know, um, as soon as it happened, you know, I'm the type of person that immediately moves into how to take this event and turn it into something positive. So I felt the impact of it, it knocked me back. And I came back forward and was like, okay, reached out to my community. Um, all the people that I poured into since 2008. And I came to love, you know, in the form of donations. I raised about $8,000 in the first couple days. And then somebody stepped forward and decided to give me a free car. So it's been a good recovery. And to be honest, I've used it to go even deeper with my relationships with people. There are many people who I'm consoling them, you know, even more than they console. I'm consoling them even more than they're consoling me because just their heart sank when they heard about it because of all that I've been doing out here. Um, so I've just turned, I've redirected the energy. <laughs> and you are still on uh, uh, Clubhouse. Almost every morning I get a, a notification pop up from you from there right. so people can join you on clubhouse and you do a positive yep positive thing <laughs> a positive like good positive vibe yeah. uh, whole thing and it's live from your studio right you have a live yeah. stream of that going on too yeah i do so that's the uh, accountability partners morning show on the new app called clubhouse which is an audio chat app um Check it out, Clubhouse Audio Chat. And I'm there every morning. Yeah, I do a morning show around accountability. And we talk about emotional intelligence and mindfulness and self-awareness, you know, um, quality of life, peace, love, like all, all the positive things. I need that. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's been, <laughs> it's, especially with COVID, it's been yeah. hard to stay positive. The other day I was coming home from, um, from a shoot and Matthew was like, I need positive mic. And I was like, well, good luck with that. <laughs> the kids screaming in back. Right, you know? right. When I see him, I'll let him know that you're looking for him. How, how, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. How often are you doing these street serenades? Every week, twice a week. I'm here at Lake Montebello. 
this beautiful backdrop that you see um, every week, uh, Thursdays, unless the weather was cicadas. <laughs> yeah, I was a little worried about that. Um, the, I, you know, I'm terribly bug phobic, and we were just talking. You, you were, but you've seemed to have gotten over that with the. Yeah, got over it with the help of having a gig that you can't walk away from when you get to the gig and you say, okay, I'm here, I got to do it. The funny part is I actually have a, um, a picture on my uh, Facebook and Instagram page. It was caught by my photographer, Richard Smith, and he, he caught a picture with me smiling with a cicada on my head. Oh. Right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's what I was doing. Like, it was literally like a, a process of like acceptance and it was literally the same thing we practice everywhere else. I just had to practice it in the midst of dodging cicadas. Right. Well, they're not bad yeah. tonight. I don't see any. Yeah, and, you know, it's it's uh they've calmed down. I guess they decided to give us a break now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna continue the st street serenades and what other projects you got going on? So besides my Clubhouse morning show, um, what else do I have going on? So many things. I started a, a creative brand and marketing uh, strategy consulting company. So that's something that I have going on pretty regularly. Um, working on my own app, my own Aaron Hill TV app. Uh, working on the Street Saturday tour. Now, what do you envision the app doing for you? Yeah. So the app is going to basically remove the friction and put the people who I'm talking to every day or I have a message for right there. I mean, it's it's in creative brand strategy and marketing strategy, I just realized things that would help us to get closer and closer to what we were trying to connect to. And one of the biggest things is people not having to remember, you know, your name or remember something to go find you and then to find you here and then have to go here, here, and there. So the app brings you to a person's home screen. My, my prediction is that in the future, we'll all have our own app. It'll replace the website. Um, because the website is just a static place for information, but the app, you can actually have more interactive, you know, daily exchanging with your people. So it just removes the friction. I mean, I was trying to think of the way, like, there's something missing here. I'm doing something on every every platform. I'm hustling, I'm, I'm like, I was like, oh, just one portal to where you go there and then it pours, and not just to those pages, right. but to where I can just, give you just hey I can say hey or you can see my latest song and it's on your home screen. All right Aaron we are going to listen to uh, uh, a little bit more of Aaron play um, and I'm gonna try to do this a little more often as I'm in town. Um, meanwhile um, we'll uh, and you have a who's your drummer that you have coming tonight? Uh, Charles Wilson and Craig Austin will be on bass fruition experience. So it's 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 Aaron Charles and right. Craig, and, Craig right. and they'll be jamming out here. And you stay around on these uh, sidewalk serenades. You stay around for like uh, uh, until 7:30, right? Yep, six to 7:30 on Thursdays and Saturday at Ellicott City, two to 5:30. And uh, one more piece of information that's important is my oh, yeah. text community. Um, now the closest way I keep in contact with people is by sending um, a text. So, yeah, yeah, and I have to say, I, I get your text and I love it because um, a lot of times I'll be driving along thinking, what am I going to do tonight? And I get something from you and it, I, it, it hasn't, you know, like the last text I got, I was on my way, on my way to Dallas, so it didn't quite work out. Right. But I love it. It's like, I'm going to put you, you know, if you say you want to come, I'm going to put you on the VIP list, you know, and, and, and I don't know, you feel like, I felt like that guy that's like, you know, the rope is being parted for and, you yes, know, and yes. I'm being ushered past yeah. everyone. That intimate experience. Yeah. That intimate VIP experience. So that's what it is. So my number is 410-936-6976 to stay notified of my uh, performances, my street serenades and some of the other amazing events happening. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. This is my tasty tidbit <laughs> with Aaron that I have wanted to do forever. And um, um, we're going to do a few more of these because he's, you know, there's just so much. You have so much going on and you're just this creative force. And I just, I, I appreciate it. And so does my mother. Uh, <laughs> my mom's Love like, mom. Thanks, mom. oh yeah, right. I mean, you know, and and of course, you know, I adore your mother. Um, uh, how's she doing, by the way? 
extremely well. She should be here today in a few. Oh, awesome. She's doing very well. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. And, and I finally get to meet these people face to face. Everything's been through Zoom. Uh, so, so it's awesome. Anyway, that's going to wrap up. I'm going to wrap up this tasty tidbit. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And we will see you soon. Oh, podcast note. Uh, the final installment of the Miles Imler uh, series on being transgender will post a week from Saturday. I delayed it one week just to give me some more time and Miles some more time to get our thoughts together. Um, and then we are going to conclude season one of the Patterson Park podcast. And you don't know this, but what I want to do is bring everybody over in a month or so for a big party at my house and do a live stream and just do like... Um, you know, like they do for Real Housewives oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> of what everybody's doing, sitting around, you know, right. drinking some <laughs> box wine or something. So anyway, anyway, but uh, Ooh, yeah, I'm right. Glad you let me know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be able to do some serenade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Um, so anyway, that is what we have planned. Um, meanwhile, talk to you soon. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.
and miss. Three seven eight one three one. Thank you to everybody that's hanging out Facebook Live here at the link. Thank you. 